Welcome to a really short demo of my CS2340 final project, which is a recreation of Connect 4, except this time it's Connect 3, and it's in MIPS assembly. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to see that we have already assembled the program um, since I can run it now. Uh, and we actually have seven different modules. So in order to you know, assemble all those seven different modules together, which all depend on each other, we actually have to go into settings and we have to click on this little setting that says assemble all files in directory. Um, and you can see all the files, all the modules are located under one folder, which is the SRC folder um, in the source code. Um, and we're going to set our bitmap display to 128 by 128 and we're going to just have it display um, the static data. And we're going to go ahead and actually run this program. All right, so we're represented with our game board. So you can see at the bottom it's asking us to place a piece between, um, you know, within columns one through three. So in this case, I'm actually going to place, um, I'm going to first try some invalid inputs to prove that, you know, it actually checks that. So let's try uh, column A, which obviously doesn't exist on the board. Uh, we can try even column nine, which also doesn't exist on the board. Uh, and then we can also, you know, mash a bunch of other keys to see if those work. And you can see it's, it's continually checking that, you know, those, um, those inputs are invalid. But let's go ahead and try column one. So you can see that our move is in blue, and you can see that the computer's move is in red. So the computer will move right after we move. And we can see, also see that there is a, a character-based display uh, here at the bottom as well. So I'm going to go ahead and enter some numbers. You can see they only have to the user only has to enter a single number. Um, so you know the number the amount of input on the behalf of the user is actually very little. So we can go ahead and enter three, we can enter one, we can enter two, um, we can enter uh, three again, and we're going to enter two in this case. And there it's going to match our moves. So you can see over here that um, we have gained a win, and how that works is because we can see that um, you can see at the bottom it says player wins, uh, and it also says game over here, and you can see that you know we've got a horizontal win. Uh, now let's see if we can try to get the computer to win. So it's going to play our little theme song. So it looks like we won again. Let's try to get the computer to win. To prove that it can do, you know, uh, it can do win checking of the computer as well. So you can see that the computer won in this case because it got all three of its values in the third column. So I think this is the this this is the conclusion of the short demo. Um, you can see within the code that we do check for other um, win conditions, for example, diagonal win conditions. Um, we also do check if uh, columns are full, um, and uh, we can you can also see the AI strategy within the code. So I hope this helps. Um, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, this has been a presentation of my project. Thank you.